Okay. <laughs> And once again, I had an amazing time watching the housemates participate in tonight's Friday Night Arena Games in the BB and Samzi Season 3 Mansion. Guys, it was refreshing. I had so much fun. And one of the things I love the most about these Friday Arena Games is how childish it gets, how beautiful it is. It's like kids playing, you know, kids playing games and guys it's it's just really fun so on this video i'm gonna be giving you all the juicy tea of how it all went down but before i continue this is just a quick reminder that tomorrow is our saturday youtube live stream that happens live and direct on this channel okay 3 p.m w-a-t or you want to call it 4 p.m c-a-t and tomorrow is going to be extraordinary tomorrow is going to be special very very special and that is because i will be hosting we will be hosting two amazing personalities from the ongoing bb and zamzi season three show i'm talking about dinky bliss and qv guys i am looking forward to having an amazing conversation i am so looking forward to having a virtual conversation with these two beautiful souls and so guys i urge you all if your schedule for tomorrow is not too packed please make it a date with us 3 p.m as i have said west african time yes and 4 p.m cat or whichever part of the world you are based just use the google word clock as i always say to ensure that you do not miss out on tomorrow's conversation and hey guys remember how we do it over here it's a virtual conversation so you will be able to pose your questions to dinky bliss and qv so please do not miss out let's quickly get into this video i don't know why these housemates do not ever hear word. Let me put it in the Nigerian way. They're not a hear word. They are trying, you know, guys, no doubt. They're trying. They've been on their best behavior. Okay, not so best behavior all through the week. Thanks to Sister Mara and um, Yoli, his deputy. But these housemates, there will always be one way or the other that they will go against Biggie's rules. Now, I'm not even talking about the general house rules because that one, it's a must that they will always break the rules. But I'm talking about the rules in the arena games. So we all know that before the arena, games big brother always always gives rules oh don't do this don't do that don't cross the line especially it's always a thing of don't cross the line but then at the end of the night you find out that there will be at least five housemates out of the many that would definitely break those rules and cross the lines especially big brother had specifically mentioned that of tonight's games all housemates must ensure that they are bomb bomb is seated directly on the chair of the bike that they are riding but it was quite funny to see that because of course everybody wants to win there were those ones who still did not sit their ass on the bike so they still got 30 seconds prolonged scores in addition to the scores that they already got for housemates like libo and tools tonight marks the second time in a row that they will each be getting 30 seconds penalty scores yes because that 30 seconds in itself is a penalty score you break any of the rules of the field you get an extra 30 seconds so tonight made it the second time that they each will be getting that 30 seconds and guys it wasn't even funny especially for libo because this dude was almost the winner for tonight but then because he broke so many rules his ass was not seated on a bike he was crossing lines and all whatnot he got an extra 30 seconds which was really sad and it made me so furious because i'm watching like this dude why are you so impatient whenever you are in the arena? Anyways, <laughs> to cut the long story short, tonight's arena games was all about successfully crossing four hurdles in the arena. Yes, and all of these tasks were to be accomplished on a tiny little bike. We, guys, I mean, just have a look at the bike for yourself. This is a bike that a 10-year-old will use, but adults in Biggest House totally have to turn themselves into kids and then play the game using the bike. And so, aside all the rules, the winner to emerge for tonight's arena games was to finish in the shortest time possible and this was where the housemates started playing their games some of them flopping and some of them getting almost close to emerging the winner by the end of the night we had just one winner now the housemates scored as follows we had sister mara who went first of course being the head of house and then finished in one minute 35 seconds we had yoli his deputy following closely behind him who finished in five minutes guys yoli struggled so hard especially with the final round of 
the game. It was such a huge struggle for her. But then she finished in five minutes. And then we had Libo, whom I already explained, you know, he missed some of the instructions. And then he finished in one minute, 19 seconds. But then 30 seconds penalty score was added to his original score, giving him one minute, 49 seconds. Then we had Akeja. Akeja really tried. She finished in two minutes, six seconds. We had Vino. Vino. Vino finished in one minute, seven seconds. So just as you have guessed already, Vino won. But moving on, we had Nale. Nale finished in two minutes, 13 seconds. We had Gashwan. Guys, Gashwan was just all over the place, which is quite typical of him whenever he's playing the Friday night arena game. And I wonder why. But then he finished in one minute, 28 seconds. And then we had um, Venice. Venice finished in one minute, 31 seconds. But then she got a 30 seconds penalty score added to her score. Now guys, her, her own fault was that for the third hurdle, the housemates were to jump like frogs on a marked line inside the marked space and their hands must touch the floor whilst they are jumping and hopping like a frog but then Venus hands did not completely touch the floor and that was where she got a penalty score of 30 seconds which gave her two minutes one second and then we had Norman Norman finished in two minutes 45 seconds we had um in tabby guys I completely missed in tabby score so I think she got three minutes 22 seconds but it was actually a very very prolonged timing and then um tools finished in two minutes 52 seconds or 53 seconds but then his legs kept on crossing the lines and the rest of the housemates they saw that and guys for real tools is also another housemate that is constantly all over the place in the arena and so guys because of his 30 seconds extra penalty score his time increased to 3 minutes 23 seconds. Apologies for calling it score, it's actually time. And then um, we had Mpo. Mpo finished in 1 minute 13 seconds. Guys, Mpo almost finished in 1 minute 7 seconds, just like um, Vino. But then it was very, very difficult for her to finish up the last round, and that was what really prolonged her score. And then we had Temba. Temba finished in 1 minute 31 seconds, but then he faltered again, breaking the rules, and so he finished in 2 minutes 1 second, of course, with an additional 30 seconds um, penalty time added to his original time. Then we had um, Tato. Guys, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me explain what happens to Tato properly. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> you, you know, you know where your village people are chasing you. <laughs> it was just so. It was just so hilarious. Like. Babe was done, like Tato was done, and she was riding the bike or she was trying to ride the bike to the finish line, and that was where she fell face flat on the floor. And it was so funny that instead of her to get up and you know sit on the bike again, <laughs> it was literally <laughs> she was riding the bike. And... <laughs> oh my god, okay, guys, I'm sorry for laughing, but it was just <laughs> It was just so funny. And it was obvious that the housemates were trying so hard not to laugh. Anyways, Tato finished in 1 minute 32 seconds. But she got an additional 30 seconds penalty timing added to her original time. And that's because... <laughs> That's because her bonbon was not 100% on the bike. Then we had BU. BU finished in 1 minute 38 seconds. Um, we had Terry. Terry finished in 1 minute 12 seconds, making her the second runner up of tonight's game. So, guys, it was so sweet to see that oh, the boyfriend finished in 1 minute 7 seconds, and then the girlfriend finished in 1 minute 12 seconds. Very, very romantic. And then, last but not the least, we had Zeno, who finished in 1 minute 26 seconds. Guys, overall, it was a good game. It was a fair play. The housemates had so much fun. And I loved the fact that they were all cheering each other on or one another on. Um, they all had so much fun. And even though it was very, very hilarious when Tattoo fell, they tried very much to hold the laughter inside and not to laugh. Because it would have been very, very embarrassing for Tattoo. But me, I was over here. I was having a good laugh. Anyways, this is where I'm going to be ending this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget tomorrow, make sure you come through and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing evening. Bye.